Like take Jurgen out of running and put him in channeling. I should be able to to raise Mount Squighorn next turn. Failure. At least you tried. I could move Baron. But I need to I'm gonna wait one more turn maybe. No, I'm just gonna move him. So he would be most useful. Is it Bruno? Bruno would be most useful. I'll be heading down this way. Run him. Carrick Cadron will just have to deal for a few turns, they'll be fine. <laughs> oh. How about... Oh, do I want another Mortis Engine, or do I want another unit of Hex Wraith? Do I want some Blood Knights? Let's do it like this. Last coach. Watch my income for a turn plummet. This is a gross army, though. Also, I deeply apologize, Castle Drakenhof. You're not getting your terror guys lair. I think that's everything. Just quickly. I guess Lewin's still mad about me killing him. Arcane the Ever Chosen has indeed spawned, but he's not doing very well. The Witch King will not speak with me. They kind of like me. Nogarith. Nope. Winter Tooth? Sweet. That's good. I would like more out of it, but... Oh, the College of Pyrotechnics is alive again. Where are you at? Oh, 
Clan Scryer. You're down to uh, two settlements, bruh. They hate me. They hate me. Probably doesn't like that I dealt with Winter too. Yeah, he doesn't like that. Sorry, Carl. I thought we were brez. Sartosa will take a trade agreement. Oh, hold on. They pay me. Okay. You understand. I want the trade agreement. I want the vassal. I want military access. I want the money. Sweet. That's a blood kiss. Red Fleet. Military access. Money. Not that much money. Okay, we can work it out. Okay. You're speaking my language. You're giving me money. That's all that really matters in this life. Is how to swindle a pirate. Well, they'll take peace. Will they pay for it. Now, you understand, peace is not free. This is not green peace. I'll make one more attempt to extort money from you, and then I may kill you. Alright, that's fine. You may live. That's important. Need some infantry in this army. Maybe another one of those. I really like it, is the thing. So we've got cavalry, we've got infantry, we need someone to hold the line. Location of death, I don't know if there's anything because of terror. Yeah, it gives regen, that's what we need. Alright, what's the teleport cost? 500. Okay, so next turn, Gorse can take this pretty awesome army to battle. Pretty sure that's everything. With Sartosa being vassalized, that's going to help out a lot. Because the better they do, the better I do.
Okay. Dwarfs are getting ready to lose an army. Britonia is about wiped off the map. No flower for you. I seem to keep a careful eye on the Ever Chosen. He's weak right now, but he'll build power quickly. What are you on about? Um, well, the enemies, well, they're all enemies, but while the AI is doing their turn, I'm just musing that while the Ever Chosen is weak right now, he's going to gain power quickly as he dominates Norska. Oh, uh, the Ever Chosen spawned? Yeah, last turn. Hey. But he's very weak right now. Um, I also vassalized Sartosa. Which I did mostly for Blood Kiss, but I got shitloads of money out of various political deals. And... Well, check out Gorse's army. It's up in Keppelberg right now. I'll take a look. If you're willing to share, I'd be much appreciative. Jesus fucking Christ. I just pulled that out of the soil. Is that two more decisions? Fucking hells, dude. I, there's, I could pull more out. I just didn't have enough money. As off bar, you belong to me. Excellent. The dead rise again. It's going to cause a damn near instant rebellion. Oh, wait, no. Current public order 94? What? Oh, minus 94. I was about to say, I'm like, wait a minute, what? I took a leadership buff for my contribution. Oh, yeah. No, I'm making, I'm making money now. I'm making money now. I'm uh, I'm losing money. I, like, okay, I'm still making twenty four ninety two a turn, but raising Gorse's army costs like five k a turn. Jesus. Yeah, Hellman's army upkeep is forty five thirteen per turn. We're gonna upgrade uh, Mount Gunbat to a corrupted village. Good tier two. Also, Castle Drakihoff hit tier five. It gets a terror geist for its garrison now. Victor von fucking Karnstein. He just took his F bar got an up. See, Victor is a von Karnstein. Von Karnsteins tend to be melee magic. Yeah, and special power over beasts and Sylvanian crossbowmen. <sighs> we'll give him a fell nest because right now that's minus 100% keep for any unit that's a fell pet. He has a lot of fell. All right. Um, um, Emil Posnier. I gotta go. The dwarfs brought back Ungrim Iron Fist with three relics in Mount Squigborn, oh. but a small army. I think I can still take him. I fucking hope so. I mean, if not, Gustav von Karstein's army cost me 32 34 a turn. So if he dies, he's immortal. I don't lose anything except the troops. Which, you know, I've got a black coach, hex wraiths, Vargul, but it doesn't matter. I can get those anywhere, apparently. 
Yeah, Isabella is strong enough to kind of stand on her own. So I'm going to have her hold up like t- more towards Grin's dad, but still in that pass where they still have to go past me, right? Providing they don't take the underway. Right. The only place they could go would be Migdiel Vongabrock, and I'll know by then. Even if they take that, I can reinforce Grin's dad, and they're still fucked. Have... No, I'm not really that worried about it. Leader of the pack gets Razor Sack Mount Squighorn for 12 in a Dark Magic. Don't mind if I done did. Um, what's your army? Pretty varied, actually. <laughs> we'll take the Unliving Host because it covers so many units. And we will move you via running to support over here. And run him up. So I have two stacks coming to assist with Ackendorf. I should be able to make it to Squighorn. It's not giving me um, guaranteed odds. We'll see what happens. It's probably the Dragonback Slayers. It's the only thing I could think of. Because it's not too, too bad. Although the balance of power might swing greatly my way on the actual battlefield. Oh, those <clears throat> those Giant Slayers are still going to be a bitch. I just won't send anything giant against them. Aren't they still <laughs> really strong troops in their own right, though? They are, but like, I mean, maybe some bats will kill them. Who knows? Like the dwarves do have some decent troops. They're good, but are they good enough? They do have range on me, though. <clears throat> I think they have miners of blasting caps, which are actually pretty devastating. They do not have to wait for reinforcement. They're all downhill from me, though. All right, hex wraiths, front and center, doges. Sneak them into their arsehole. I can never get them to face the right direction. I think they're facing... They're also kind of over the line, by the way. Just pointing that out, game. Everyone else. Put Skele Bones in rank 2. Skele Spears in rank 1. Except not with you. I'll put the knights on this side so we have on each flank. The black coach is just going to do its own thing. My lord's going to have the grave guard with him. These guys do their own thing. This guy does his own thing. Bats do their own thing. And the Vargeists... We'll put some flying on this side.
Wraiths are going to have a bad time. Dogs aren't, just aren't good at anything. I'm just going to pull the wraiths off before they crumble. So they're a pretty good unit. Also, the black coach is having a bad time. You guys heal up there. Grave guard, get up in here. Fly them right into these guys. Some dire wolves up in these. I can. All right now, the black coach. I always forget you have that god. I don't say Godforsaken thing in a bad way. If there's if there was ever a unit in Warhammer that was Godforsaken, it's the fucking Black Coach. Pretty much. Like, the thing that charges in and fucking reaps anything it touches. I mean, the dwarves are doing a lot of damage to it. Oh, they're gonna. Dwarves. I mean, those giant slayers, let's be straight here, are no fucking joke. The Black Knights are getting their their fucking teeth kicked in. They have those Dragonback Slayers right behind them. Yep. Try to take out their artillery first. Try and save some knights. Just to tie them up a little bit longer. Can I ask you a question, though, Burley? Yeah. In what world, heaven or hell, told you it was a good idea to send knights against giant slayers? It was basically a matter of necessity. Like, did you know you were straight up sacrificing those units? I had no choice. Okay, making mm -hmm. sure. Getting a little bit choppy, so one of my downloads must be finishing. They're doing enough magical damage to be a problem. And get these dogs up into something. Do a little 
little fent charge there. And right in the back of these long beards. And then these miners. What are these skeletons doing? Away from those long beards. Get into those long beards. Dropping Book of Arkham buffs wherever I can. Get the black coach and their gun lines. I think you still have a shy here. I mean, it's still even. Like I said, those giant slayers are still your biggest problem. Yeah, Vargolf actually has to pull out. Your Vargolf get involved with the giant slayers. It's funny, he's going to get involved with their ranged units now. Okay, get involved with these guys now. Just gonna pull a lot of guys out of that blob. Hey, Gabby. That's a vampire kid. Those are dwarves. It's a bar golf. Somehow the Thunders are losing it's decisively and making my fucking black coat... Well, my lord got killed. My whole army's gonna give up. Yeah, you're fucked. I didn't even notice. Took my eyes off him for one second and he got killed. And that's how you take a win and throw it out the window. Especially when oh, they're man. so close to the edge of the map that w every time they route, there's a chance they run off the map and just fucking eat dick. Uh, well, it's a city battle, so if they all flee... Yeah, the black coach is crumbling. But it's still doing lots of work in spite of being in the process of dying. So they did win in the end. It's because I mismanaged my lord. Um, if my lord didn't die, I probably would have won. That's fine. We'll You're not happy it. about it, though, dear God. I mean, I'm satisfied with this, because it's another 3,000 in the bank for me. And it did fuck them up pretty bad. I wish I hadn't have mismanaged it, but that's how it goes. I almost killed this special unit, too. Ungram's no pushover in a duel. And he has three relics. Currently equipped.
So yeah, I should have probably led with the skeletons and then had the coach and the wraiths dig in, but because they're ethereal, they're usually pretty resilient. Pretty sure I, the giant slayers get a buff against ethereal. They, they might deal magical damage, <laughs> but I suppose I was relying too heavily on them being ethereal. Hopefully my game's not having a goddamn seizure. <laughs> 